Flaminga Radio, communicating the love of God. Is this your kind of morning? How about something like this? Let us slow down a little bit and start our day with God. Join us as we draw wisdom and inspiration from God's Word and walk through the joys and challenges of the day. Welcome to Mango Mornings with JB, Aya, and Bernie on Mango Radio, communicating the love of God. chapter 9, it recorded Saul's first experience with Jesus Christ on his way to Damascus. And that was his first encounter with uh, the Savior through a blinding light. And uh, his life was never the same since that day. Of course, the Lord instructed him what to do after that. But uh, the thing is, God called Saul, who was a persecutor of the church, before he became Paul the Apostle, who did tremendous things for the church and for the kingdom of God. You see, our life story is like Saul, who became Paul. We came from darkness, enemies of the Lord, and then he brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. And now we are co-workers with him in his kingdom. What is your Damascus Road experience, friends? Something to reflect on today. Good morning and welcome to Mango Mornings. My name is Pastor JB and together with me is DJ Aya. Hey, good morning. And uh, DJ Bernie. Hello, good morning. And we are welcoming you for another episode <laughs> of your new companion in the morning here at Mango Radio, Mango Mornings. Kamusta? Good morning. And, uh, yes. Wow. Uh, good morning sa ating mga kapatiran sa Zamboanga City. Buenos, Buenos dias. dias. Yeah. Right? Kamusta ang weekend you guys? How did you spend it? It was wonderful. Yeah, me too. You know, I had the opportunity to join probably thousands of people. This is Amir Sarfati. Yeah, for Amir Sarfati. Wow. And uh, of course, this is talking about the book of Revelation and revealing Revelation. Very nice. And uh, to hear it from a Messianic Jew mm. who definitely proclaims that Jesus is his Lord and Savior, that was a very refreshing and wonderful experience because the last time we did this was 2020. Before the pandemic started, so three years. That's quite a while. Man. Yeah, amazing. And I saw na marami ang nag-attend for yes. that event. So Pretty that's much. really something that is very important mm-hmm. and sought after the event. Yes. Wow. So this is uh, very revealing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So hopefully we can share that in uh, the succeeding programs. A very revealing study of Revelation. Yes, we finished actually. No? Uh, wow. Revelation 1 to 21 mm. <laughs> or oh, 22 ba? How many yeah, hours? Uh, we did that from uh, well, it started around 9 and then we ended up at around 5.30 oh. So it's a whole day event and he said that um, it's uh, the first time that it happened in Davao that they, we were able to study the book of Revelation in one whole day mm. yeah, because in Cebu and Manila they did it in one and a half day one and a half, oh. so Davao, it's uh, one day, so that was the start. So he said that it will be like a continuing series wherein they will try and do it for just one day mm. to study important points in the book of Revelation. That was nice. 
but information overload, I suppose. Oh yeah. One of the hardest book or most difficult book to mm-hmm. unpack, no, and uh, interpret in the Bible is the Book of Revelation. Oh yeah. So, so we'll have an opportunity to also do that. <laughs> So hopefully. Yeah, how about you, DJ Aya? How did you spend your weekend? Uh, I met up with one of my ladies sa aming Bible group. So mm. she's now living in Singapore. And I'm oh. just, just so blessed by what God has been doing in her life. Mm. So uh, we had a chance to chat. And um, I'm glad to know na okay na siya. She's, she's doing good where she is right now. Well, sounds good. Well, that's part of our journey, no, sa, as Christians and uh, responsibilities towards our uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Now we pray for them, encourage them, and uh, just be like a family in the Lord. Yes. Actually, this morning's reflection is from our sermon last Sunday about the Damascus Road mm-hmm. experience of the Apostle Paul, mm-hmm. who was Saul. Yes, and it's somehow a, a, a beautiful illustration of our relationship with Jesus Christ but uh, we were a different person before mm-hmm. he called us no and there's always a contrast and dramatic transition from a life of darkness or wickedness was that in general we are considered as enemies of God mm-hmm. but then when we came to know Jesus Christ actually it's also his words in Romans na why we were enemies of God he provided a way for our salvation through Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. He died for us. He died for us while we were still sinners, that mm. is. So I think it's amazing. And uh, it's always good to go back to that uh, experience. Mm-hmm. Um, for the case of Moses, it was the burning bush moment when God called him. Mm-hmm. So every time God called uh, calls us, mm-hmm. then there's always this grand transformation. Mm. You know, a metamorphosis, kumbaga. You will never be the same, really. Speaking so, about that, you know, have you noticed, like, be- like beginning with Moses, you know, it's a dramatic mm. kind of uh, encounter with the Lord. Even Elijah, you know, mm. Elijah was his is not the beginning, but it's the ending, you know, where he, he had a dramatic exit, you know, yes. cl- a chariot of fire. And then when it comes to Paul, it was his uh, Damascus Road experience where he saw a vision of Jesus. Yes. And then he was blinded. Mm. So all of these things really are. But you can call call them dramatic, so even the Lord yes. Himself has a flair for doing that, and mm. it will eventually convince you, you know, that uh, He is real and He's true, right. and He is who He says He is. Yeah, every time God reveals Himself to us, it's always uh, commanding mm-hmm. reverence, yes, uh, awe, and respect that you are n- not left with nothing else but to really bow down to Him. And that was always the case for the characters in the Bible every time they meet the Lord for the first time. Yeah. And I'm sure nga ginana put nga case sa lahat ng ano na kapatiran natin when they first encounter Jesus Christ. There's this urgency to bow down to Him and just surrender to Him. Yeah. <laughs> well, much. so much for that. Uh, welcome once again to Mango Mornings. And uh, we have ministry partners who are actively and enthusiastically praying for us and supporting the ministry of Mango Radio. Kairos Kitchen is one of them. And they have got a special treat for you. All Christian organizations, just visit Kairos Kitchen and you can receive freebies for all your special functions and events. Kairos Kitchen is located at Inigo Street, Obrero, Davao City. They are open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily, except Sundays. And for inquiries, you may call 0922-800-3005 or it's easier to check out Kairos Kitchen on Facebook and send them a message. Kairos Kitchen, celebrating life special moments. Yeah. Avail na! Avail na! Eat na! <laughs> well, speaking about eating, <laughs> yung oh. apina mo. <laughs> Bitaw, no? Kamo sa mga kape na to din ha? <laughs> Malamig ba? Or mainit pa? Dapat init, no? Kaya para ma-warm uh, up ang ato ang ano ba, sikmura. Yeah. We are energetic to face today. Well, let's invite our friends to send us a message and uh, interact with us this morning para bibo ang ating Monday morning, another start of the week. Yeah, why not? Send okay. us your messages through our text lines at 0998490-5382 for smart users and 0915-186-7269 for Globe users. Again, friends, for your messages, shoutouts natin John, encouraging messages you'd like to share with fellow listeners and those 
viewing us live on our YouTube channel, you can text us 0998490-5382 for Smart and 0915-186-7269 for Globe. That's Don't forget right. the name and location so exactly. that we can greet you properly. <laughs> that is right, friends. By the way, again, you can watch us live on YouTube and simultaneously broadcasted on our favorite frequencies. Still the same, 102.7 FM in Davao and 91.5 FM in Zamboanga. So tell your friends. And uh, it's also encouraged na you interact with us through our Facebook I mean, YouTube live stream yeah. because we have a surprise for you. Ano yon, DJ Aya? <laughs> so, uh, starting today, uh, for those of you interacting with us through our YouTube channel, once again, that's Mango Radio Philippines. Make uh-huh. sure to subscribe and invite your family and friends to subscribe. Like, subscribe. Ayan. Yeah. So, we will be choosing 10 people to receive their very own Mango Radio bag. Wow. And this is for free. So this yes. is example. Look at that. That is <laughs> exclusive. Okay. Merchandise from Mango Radio. This is uh, made in Korea. <laughs> Bina, Bama, you know? yan. Imported, yeah, no? <laughs> Imported. And yeah. multifunctional. You can use it para pamalengke, yeah, laundry, grocery. Super durable, actually. Um, ma- maximum capacity. Maga- ano ba? 25 Ilan? kg? No! Ani yan? Ani yan? Maleta. So Pwede again, check friends, <laughs> check out our YouTube channel, chat with us, leave a message, an encouraging message, and who knows, perhaps you might be one of the 10 people who will be receiving their very own Mango Radio bag. Yay! That's right. Uh, later, po, we will be joined by special guests for today's episode. Yes, and plural. Oh. Guests talaga. <laughs> that is the new norm for your new morning show dito sa Mango Radio and uh, really this is uh, something that we have prepared for you to make your mornings extra special right. and that is our definition of Mango Mornings Ano ba ang definition ng Mango Mornings? You can share us your thought by texting us or sending us a message ating Facebook Messenger and of course ang pinakabagong platform no, to drop a message ating YouTube live stream and uh, we will be more than happy to read them for you. Actually, may mga mensahe na tayo na dumating, no? Kayon pa lang. But we will save that for later para mas exciting ang ating uh, programa. Yo. Meanwhile, let's uh, pause for a break and listen to our first song for today's episode from Sidewalk Prophets. Let's wear smiles on our faces as we face this brand new day that God has given us. Can you smile? <laughs> Ayan, naka-smile na rin yung Naka-smile mo, uh, DJ Ivan na. <laughs> Kaya na with gusto. <laughs> well, keep it here on Mango Mornings, here on Mango Radio. We are communicating the love of God. So cool, okay, Kaya. Lost your way, lost your cool, then you straight up lost your mind. Tried so hard to stay ahead, but you keep falling behind. Life is gonna pull you down, make it hard to see. But a little change in your point of view could be just what you need. There's always a reason to always choose joy. There's something deeper that the world can't destroy. Smile when you think you can't smile. Get up and dance, smile There's a bigger plan The storm only lasts for a while So smile Happiness is wonderful But it doesn't stick around Walk in on sunshine Then here come the clouds You can laugh or you can cry When it all falls apart But I believe the more you laugh The more you heal the a bigger plan and you've got a reason to smile when you think you can't smile just clap your hands smile there's a bigger plan you've got a reason to
Iros Kitchen, celebrating life's special moments, serving Asian and seafood cuisine with an alfresco garden restaurant with 80-person seating capacity and an air-conditioned VIP room that can accommodate up to 35 persons. Also accepting off-site catering, Kairos Kitchen is located at Inigo Street, Abrera, Davao City. Open every day from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. except Sundays. For queries, call 0922-800-3005 or check out Kairos Kitchen on Facebook. Celebrating life's special moments at Kairos Kitchen. Dreamt of becoming a pilot and have your office in the sky? Earn your pilot license in no time at Adventure Flight. Try out our Red Bird Flight Simulator absolutely free and be swept away by your imagination. Adventure Flight is located at Mactan Cebu International Airport and Davao City International Airport. Contact us at telephone number 082-297-3255 or in our Globe Mobile number 0926-091-3689. You may also visit ISAT Davao Facebook page. Make every day an adventure. Free simulator located in Cebu is subject to schedule and availability. Call now. Busy morning? Keep your eyes on Christ. Slow down and start your day with God here on Mango Mornings with your host, Pastor JB. Hello, good morning. DJ Bernie. Hey, good morning, Monday. And yours truly, DJ Aya. Mango Mornings to you guys once again. And hello, by the way, to those of you tuning in through our uh, Mango Radio Philippines YouTube channel. So uh, once again, if you haven't checked us out on our YouTube channel, uh, we're currently doing live ngayon ng Mango Morning. So just type in Mango Radio Philippines. Uh, we're on episode 2. That's Says Who. So uh, once again, friends, quick reminders. For those of you who perhaps hindi kayo makatune in today, uh, th- those of you joining us through radio, there is a replay this afternoon from 5 to 6.30 p.m. That's and right. we are so sorry because we announced <laughs> that during the first episode, but uh, we encountered some technical errors. Kaya hindi namin na replay yung first episode mm. for our radio listeners. Our apologies, but you can check out the replay on our YouTube channel. For episode one, it happens. <laughs> Sorry, na agad. <laughs> Sorry, Lo na siento agad. mucho, <laughs> hermano y hermana. Forgive <laughs> us. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So today, friends, as promised, uh, we said we would have guests plural, and our very first guest for this segment is none other than a very familiar voice you mm. might have heard in our Bible studies in the past. Welcome to Mango Mornings, Pastor Arthur Joseph of Davao City Alliance Evangelical Church. Morning, po. Mango Mornings. Thank you for having me here. Yay. I'm glad to be back again yeah, for this episode. In the morning, right? Uh-huh. Because usually you are in the afternoon, afternoon. correct? Wow. Yeah, and I'm excited to be here because it's one of those rare moments that I wake up very early in the morning <laughs> to be here. So, <laughs> yeah. <Yes>. challenge. <laughs> we were looking for a guest, tapos marami kami mga tinap na pastors, and then I said, "Kumusta kaya si Pastor Arthur?" Tapos de, uh, I asked him, and then he said, "Na yes." Yeah, of course, yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Pastor. Yeah. Yes. So, Pastor, for today, uh, what's your devotional message for our listeners and our viewers? Right. Um, I'd like to share something about um, that would uh, help us, no, especially our listeners, as we trudge the days ahead no, for this year, mm-hmm. and that is about choosing the will of God. No? And sometimes we face a lot of those um challenges especially when we have to choose between good and best or good and godly something like that so how do we really know the will of God and 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 choose that so that's what I'd like to focus on this morning 
and uh, hopefully and I pray that um, our meditation this morning will guide us through uh, the year and also will put our our spiritual life our journey in in, in its proper uh, perspective mm. and um, yeah hopefully we'll learn something shall we begin all right Maybe. all right sure. so um, I'd like to ask uh, I begin with a question how have you ever wished uh, you could have lunch with Jesus? Have you thought of that this morning? <laughs> or let me rephrase that question. What if an angel of the Lord appears in your midst and uh, telling you that Jesus wants to have lunch with you today? Suppose that happened, what would you talk about or what would you talk to Jesus about? Mm. You know, all of us have moments when we want to hear God's voice or receive some definite sign regarding important matters in our lives, in our relationship, in our career choice, or a major decision that we have to make, especially for this year. We would like to have that because our decisions truly matter. We make our decisions, and our decisions in turn around make us. And um, I, I bet we would face a lot of these questions as we go along. Even right now, as you are perhaps on your way to, to work or to a meeting or to a business proposal and you're meeting with your prospective clients, I'm sure there are a lot of what-ifs or questions running through your heads. Hmm. I remember when I was an associate pastor in Antipolo, I would meet with high school students. That, by the way, was one of my favorite parts of the job. I enjoyed talking with students about their career choices and I was glad to help them make that important step in their life. Because at that point, those young people would wonder which colleges will accept them, which ones will say no, what if three says yes and but their favorite says no, what if they say yes but they cannot afford it, what do you do then? Mm. Is there any 100% certainty about God's will? Young people ask, Pastor, what is God's will for me or my relationship or my career? Well, I think it would be a lot easier if you could simply open the door in one evening and be greeted by angels telling you the answers you need. Mas, mas madali siguro pag ganon. Or if you receive a special delivery mail letter from heaven that tells you what you need to do. Wow. Right? But we all know it doesn't happen that way. Uh, most of the time, we research, we study, we narrow our options, talk it over with trusted friends, we seek counsel, we pray about it, and then we wait on the Lord. That, I think, raises the central issue for most people regarding God's will. We would like to, or we would like someone else to make the decision for us. Yun yung sinasabi ng uh, sociologist na uh, undifferentiated self. You know? mm-hmm. If God would only tell us what we wanted in each situation, we would do it. But most of the time, we're left with something less than 100% certainty. Mm. So, my friends, listen to this. God wants us to know His will more than we want to know it. Mm. Therefore, God takes personal responsibility to see that we discover it. So, He can put us exactly where where He wants us to be. He can arrange all the details years in advance like what he did when or before Jesus uh, came to earth. He can shut or he can open doors that she, uh, that seem shut tight. Mm-hmm. He can remove any obstacles that stand in your way. He can take tragedy and use it for your good and for his glory. All God all what God needs in fact is the only thing that he requires from us and that is a willing heart. Mm-hmm. Right. He just yeah. needs you and me to cooperate with Him. Now, this doesn't mean that we don't make choices anymore. But when we trust God and we have a willing heart to submit to His will, it takes the pressure off because it means that you can trust God while in the process and use them to accomplish His will in your life. Mm-hmm. You know, in the book of Proverbs, I was struck by a strong emphasis on the sovereignty of God over our personal decisions. Let's look at a few verses that help us see how God works in, through, and sometimes despite our decisions to accomplish His will in our in, in us. Like in Proverbs 6, 69, In his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Mm-hmm. I'd like you to notice the word determines. 
because it is a very strong word that speaks of God's control over every detail in the universe. Yes, we make all the plans. In fact, we can have our life mapped out step by step. But in the end, God determines, as what Proverbs is saying, every step that we take. Mm. Also in Proverbs 19.21, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Now let me give you a paraphrase of this verse. You can make all the plans you like, but God gets the last word. How is that? Or in Proverbs 20.24, The Lord directs a man's steps. How then can anyone understand his own way? Now, there is something hidden in in the Hebrew text that wouldn't know if if we just simply read the English version of this. Because the word translated as man in the first uh, phrase comes from the Hebrew word gibor, which means or, or which refers to a mighty warrior or a ruler. And here Solomon means to say that even the steps of a mighty man are ordained by God. The word anyone in the second phrase, in the second half of that verse, comes from the Greek word Adam, which is the generic word for mankind. This means, if God directs the steps of a mighty man, how can an ordinary man understand his own way? The answer is, we can't. That's the whole point of the verse. We are like a, we're like a man stumbling around in darkness, bumping into things, tripping over ourselves, trying to find our way forward. We can't say for sure where we've come from, where we are right now, and where we are going or where we'll be tomorrow. Hmm. So only God can see the big picture of life. That's the right. first rule in our spiritual life. Mm. He is God, we are not. Mm. This right. is where all spiritual understanding must begin. When we forget that rule, we think we are in control of our lives and that mm-hmm. everything depends on us. So we obsess, we hyperventilate, we try to control everything mm. and everyone around us. We worry over all our decisions and we spend hours fussing over the minutiae of life. Mm-hmm. My friends, It's a relief to realize that God is God and we are not. You don't have, I don't have to play God anymore and you don't have to try to control everything around you. But for those of you who had trouble sleeping or going to sleeping last night because you were so worried about the affairs of your life, you may come down this morning, ask as if the Lord is saying to you, you can sleep well tonight, I'm going to be all up anyway. Di ba liberating yun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. nakakagaan ng damdamin dahil alam natin na nandyan si Lord nagbabantay siya, hindi niya tayo pababayaan mm-hmm. now let's wrap up this message by sharing some principles that can help us as we seek to do God's will this year, first principle use all your intelligence to make wise decisions, sometimes people talk as if you shouldn't use your brain at all because only what, what you need to do is just wait on God you know, pray about it But I know what the Bible says also in Proverbs 3.5, Lean not on your own understanding. But that doesn't mean that we throw our brain away either. It simply means that after doing all our research on a given situation, we submit it to God and ask for His help. Now, if you need, a ma- if you need to make a major decision, don't wait for the angels to knock on your door. So what do we do? We study the situation, we gather the facts, we talk it over to our friends, we seek godly counsel and submit it to the Lord. Mm. Number two, since you cannot know the future, you will rarely have 100% certainty about most decisions. This is perhaps the greatest stumbling block here because we want 100% certainty all the time. But as I have said, it doesn't work that way. Many people believe they must uh, be 100% certain of God's will before they make decision. Well, I can understand their thinking. After all, if you are making a life-changing decision, you'd like to know in advance beyond any doubt that you are doing what God wants you to do. However, in our desire to know all the answers, all too often that leaves us paralyzed by an inability to make up our minds. Mm. Some decisions are so important that, cannot, that they cannot be left to chance. As the popular saying goes, when in doubt, don't. Hmm. If you aren't sure about a new job, don't take it. Don't make any move. Don't say yes. Don't make any decisions right. that with less total certainty. But is that a good advice? Is it realistic? Is that the way God normally works? Well, I also do not pretend to know the answers. But here's what we got. Did no one know all about the flood? No. Hmm. But he built the ark anyway. Yep. Did Abraham have a road, had a road map? No, but he left Ur of the Chaldeas anyway. 
Yep. Did Moses understand what it meant to lead God's people out of Egypt? No, but he said yes when the Lord called him. Did Joshua know the walls were going to come tumbling down? No, but he marched around Jericho anyway. Mm -hmm. Did Gideon fully grasp God's plan to defeat the Midianites? No, he doubted it from the beginning, but God delivered his people. Did young David have a clue of what was to come when Israel, when Samuel said to Jesse, this is the one? Mm -hmm. No, but the Spirit of the Lord came up upon him. We could add a number of examples from the Bible, yeah. but the answer is always no. Mm -hmm. right. And here's the truth. A life of faith means living with uncertainty even in the midst of doing God's will. That's the whole point of Hebrews 11. Those men and women did not know the future, but they trusted God anyway, sometimes in the face of great personal suffering. And because they kept trusting, when circumstances turned against them, they received a great reward. But said to say, there are too many people who would want 100% certainty before they act on something. Right. So they wait and wait and they dilly-dally, they stop, they hesitate, and they ruminate. Mm -hmm. They refuse to go forward because they are waiting for 100%. That leads me to this important observation. It is rarely God's will to give you 100% certainty before you make an important decision. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, in our walk with God, we leave some room for mystery. Mm -hmm. yeah. when, that's the third point. When the time comes, make the best decision you can and leave the results with God. This follows everything else I have shared this morning. When the time to decide comes, and after you've thought about it, prayed about it, talked it over, sought godly counsel, researched your options, have, after you have looked at your circumstances, searched through the scriptures, waited on the Lord, when you've done everything you know how to do, and the moment the truth comes, take a deep breath, close your eyes, if you need to, and then just go ahead and make the decision the best decision you can make. When you've done that, there's one last thing you need to do. Leave the results with God. Mm -hmm. Remember, He is God, we are not. He suppose, mm. His purpose will always stand. Mm. If you truly want to do God's will, you will do it. If you're willing to be guided by God, you will discover that He will lead you to step by step. In the end, you will be what He wants you to be, you will go where He wants you to go, and you will do what He wants you to do. This is God's promise to, to us, to Christians who are willing to do His will. It is a great advance spiritually to come to a place where you can, what you, where you can do what you, what you believe God wants you to do mm -hmm. without worrying about what other people think. Pastor, I like what you said, no? Na right. It is really about the will of God and knowing uh, that the best way is to leave it up to Him. Right. Uh, one final word and then we will take a quick Right, break. that's it. Um, we know that God knows the future and He holds the future. Amen. We just have to trust Him with the result. Mm. He knows the way we should go. He promised to direct our path and yeah. steps. He determines our step. We can count on Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Beautiful words from Pastor Arthur right there. We will have more time with Pastor Arthur later sa ating uh, Bible study session. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. But uh, meanwhile, let's uh, pause for a break. After these brief reminders, we will be right back. This is Mango Mornings on Mango Radio. We are communicating, communicating the, the love, love of God. God. Hi, my name is Bob, and I'm a real nice guy, and I'd like to live in your house. Uh, excuse me, but do I know you? As ridiculous as this sounds, this is what some people expect from God. No, but that's okay. You see, I do a lot of nice things, like I give money to the poor, and just yesterday, I mowed my neighbor's lawn. You just ask anybody, they'll tell you, I'm a real nice guy. Some people believe that just by being good, God will let them into his home. You can't live here just because you're nice. What do you mean I can't live here? You let that little boy live here. Has he ever given to the poor or mowed a neighbor's lawn? I don't think so. Well, of course he lives here. He's my child. Oh, I see. And that makes him more special than me? That's it. I'm calling the police. You wouldn't expect to be allowed into someone's home if you were a stranger. Do you expect to get into heaven if you've never met its owner? Join God's family. Get to know Jesus and be welcomed home. Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com. Hi, I am Don Don Landeta, a facilities manager of a telecommunications company based in Davao City. I am in my mid-50s. I easily get tired at work and at home doing family tasks. One time, my wife told me to try EXL Makabuhay Plus. Since then, whenever I get ill, sick, or stressed, or tired, I take two capsules of EXL Makabuhay Plus. And honestly, 
Honestly, I got relieved. I recommend EXL Makabuhay Plus. It's time to invest for your health now. Ang EXL Makabuhay Plus, mapalit sa mga butika sa inyong lugar. God is in the story, weaving a beautiful tapestry for His glory. And welcome back. It's a wonderful Monday morning, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Mango Mornings. Mornings. Hey, check your time. It's already 7.36. But you know what? It, regardless of what time it is, we have every opportunity to praise the Lord. Amen. So even ang ato mga afternoon listeners, hello and good afternoon sa inyo. Okay, unya. <laughs> Hi, joining right. us, Aripe. Yes. Thank uh, you for doing that. Anyway, Pastor JB, yeah, let's what's take up? time reading our interactions sa ating YouTube Ooh, live stream. Na no? <laughs> na kayo sila, no? Mga early risers. Hello to Nor Rai Rai. Tama ba? Or Ray Ray? <laughs> Rai Rai. Good Ray morning, Ray. Mango, with all the emoticons. Nindot kayo tanawon nila ang mga messages din hin, no? Um, Anna Barinan Tabukan. Good morning po to all. Love to watch all and... Uh, love to watch and listen here and uh, si Faith daw ang nagdala kay Nor din hi sa ano, live stream natin <laughs> good Ayay. morning hello also to Anna uh, once again uh, Anna Barina uh, Tabukan more plants as well this time green morning yeah mm-hmm. pinag-isipan talaga yung mga plants namin dito sa ating set <laughs> yeah our vegetation <laughs> our vegetation <laughs> actually we can ano na eat that no we can just need to the pork Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, Jason Pasibo, good morning. Sabi niya, good morning, ma'am, sir. Greet ko sa mga taga Santa Cruz Baptist Church. Request ko, God is on the move by seven times down. Sige po, mm. we'll uh, add that sa ating queue later after this program, maybe. Uh, mm-hmm. Christina Fernandez, praise the Lord, sharing Jeremiah 29.11. And hello also to Rotomoto VC. Blessed morning, Mango listeners and DJs. I always tune in. Whenever I hatid sundo my wife to school, grabe naman kakonyo ni ano, Uh, kuya <laughs> to school every day she's a teacher oy hello po ma'am salamat po for your uh, wow. service sa ating community oh, also that. whenever i drive around the city and back home thank you so much po sir and uh, we are so happy to hear from you jason pasibog shares psalm 37:7 para sa ating lahat we also have our text messages dj aya yes so this is from jove of catalunan grande uh, this is for pastor arthur by the way he'll be coming back after this mm-hmm. so uh nandun na siya sa couch ngayon chilling so thank you sa message ni pastor choosing god is always best than choosing good right. sometimes godly situations are not always comfortable but But good is always comfortable. Mm. Choosing godly may not be always comfortable at the moment, mm. but it is the best move. Mm. Wow. Also, shout out to Sir Berlino and Hi. Mama Hello. Linda over there. The Flores there. family. Flores family of Zamboanga City. Hi Buenos to Mam Yada. Buenos dias. Mam Yada of Davao, Psalm 118. Verse 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen, Amen to that. Hi to Kuya Ray of That's Taxi. Ingat sa biyahe, Kuya Ray. We'll see if we can play your song request after the program. Good morning po. As well. Pero kung message, ito galing to sa aking pinaka-close na friend. Okay, o diba? <laughs> Sayo kayo ng message, 4.59 a.m. Wow! Rabi. So, career. Just indeed to greet all the listeners of Mango Radio. This is from Jake Barcenas. A beautiful Monday morning to you, my buddy DJ Byrne, and to your lovely wife, Tara. Wow. And also to your new teammates of the new program, Mango Mornings, the pastor uh, DJ JB and DJ Saya lagi ni. <laughs> Bagu yang ni. Kakak saya kasi saya today. <laughs> And to your special guest. Saya. Here is a short morning. Yes, at masaya. That's short right. morning prayer lang dah about teamwork. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of our team and this game we play together. May we be steadfast in working toward our goals and determined in our effort to grow together through this journey. Grant us the grace we need to be good teammates. That our contributions to this team may make others better and that the experience may be more fruitful because of our part. Participation. Give wow. us the courage to sacrifice for the good of the team when necessary and the wisdom to know when to do so. Mm. May we follow the example of your son, Jesus Christ, to in- as we interact with each other every day. We ask this through his name. Amen. 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 Well, just keep your messages coming sa ating mga platforms, text message, YouTube live uh, stream, and also Facebook Messenger. And uh, we will check them out 
all all of them no, Ay, para mabasa. Uy, napa din hapon. Pastor Tom Arellano. Good morning daw. Good morning Pastor Tom. <laughs> Salamat sa pagpaminaw. <laughs> yes. Well, today we have a special guest, not actually a new face, but <laughs> oh, a new Super face, ready. a new friend. A new Nakatingin siya sa amin na ano man, ano na. Tuloy pa ba? <laughs> <laughs> Naghulat. <laughs> well, we have our friend no si si Faith from Family of Faith Church International to share with us. Um, they're one of their ministries, a church, no, uh, a tribal ministry that is, and she will share more details about that. Uh, Faith, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. good morning. Thank you for having me again. Again. Of course, it's an <laughs> honor and privilege. Of <laughs> so my name is Faith. Good morning to our viewers and listeners. So I'm family of Faith Church International. Right. So our vision is. We are a family of spirit-led, Bible-based, and mission-oriented believers of the Lord Jesus Christ and committed to impact and transform communities for the glory of God. So, nice. mauna siya mong ginabuhat dito sa uh, Arakan Valley, North Catabato. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, oh, over, oh. There. Oh, yeah. over there. It's so over there. The it's tribal. a nice valley. That's the tribal uh, mission no, na ito, yes. uh, mentioned ganina. And I like how uh, they have written their mission and vision. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's all, always for the communities and yes. what we are doing. That's uh, yes. always what the church is for. So can you please tell us more about it? Ang uh, Tinanayon tribe ba? It's Tinananon tribe. Tinananon tribe so, in Arakan. <laughs> <laughs> Wala ginawa. <laughs> Kung makabali lang kanina si Kuya B, parang andun lang sa kabilang kanto. Oo. Actually, do lang siya. Narad, 78 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> so, you shared a very interesting story of how you guys came to be yes. part of that community. So, could you share that as well with our listeners and viewers? So, a short... Uh, background about this Tinananon tribe. So our pastor have this vision to cross over a mountain. Mm-hmm. So dito na siya sa Arakan. So uh, meron pala doong a uh, tribe na hindi pa nare-reach out. So oh. Tinananon means, means in English is parang left behind. Oh. So the first time our pastor got there, so lahi po da ilang inistoryahan. Mm-hmm. So kailangan pag interpreters oh, so ang first na gisulti sa among pastor dito hi to our pastor pastor Ives Magdamo hello good po. morning he is an architect <laughs> architect pastor <laughs> Nag- <laughs> so ang first na sinabi ng aming pastor doon sa community is that uh, gipaanhi ko diri sa Ginoo para sultihan mo nga gihigugma mo sa Dios. So, kana siya gi-interpret na siya dito sa mga tigulang, sa mga tao dito sa community. And then uh, ang mga tigulang dito na nga babae is nanyagit gyud sila na. So, murag nagtiyabaw gyud sila, mm-hmm. nagmourn sort of like that. Aww. So, kadto di ay is that they sa kanila pa, they realize na they thought na Walay gin- they thought nagibiyaan na sila sa Ginoo. Nice. So tinuod gyud di ay nga naay Ginoo loving them. Naay Ginoo nga uh, looking watching over them. So from that point from the uh, starting ana so they they came to know the Lord Jesus Christ and up to now as in ang dami nang changes sa uh, sa community. And yun lang the very thing is that they have known our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wow, mm. praise God. Grabe no, ang, ang kuan ba, ang ilahang situation before they were reached out mm. and uh, heard the gospel. Um, the name itself, consistent with our reflection this morning, na that was their identity left mm. behind. Mm-hmm. Tinananon, mm-hmm. right? And then, the gospel was preached, Jesus was mm. introduced, and their lives we're never the same. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nagkaroon ng malaking pagbabago, like yes. radical transformation. And yes. now, um, the ministry is still continuing, yes. right? And they are growing in the Lord and uh, cultivating a deeper relationship with yes. God, which yeah. is ultimately our goal for discipleship sa mga gina-reach out nato no? mm-hmm. in our community. Well, that's really interesting. Well, we encourage everyone to pray for this ministry yes. of, yes. of, of the 
uh, Tinananon Tribe sa Arakan Valley, no? Yes. This ministry um, headed by uh, Family of Faith Church International where our sister Faith is uh, a member. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can reach out to us if you want to extend help, no? To support this ministry uh, para po mas marami pa ang makarinig sa gospel Amen. on that particular area. Amen. Well, Faith, Amen. thank you so much for sharing that uh, beautiful story and really great work for the Lord para sa ano sa ating yeah. mga katutubo dyan sa Arakan Valley. Yeah, that's well, very encouraging. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we have uh, ministry partners also supporting us currently. Mm-hmm. And uh, DJ Bernie, would you like to say thanks to our one of them? <laughs> yes, of course. We thank uh, our partners, no? And especially kay... Um, One of our DJs have already tried their services. Kisa mo kaya siya na nakatapad na kuno. Anyway, it's excellent. Excellent. Uh, okay. Product okay. and service. So thank you so much Mask Pro, no. So if you're looking for an opportunity for wonderful and amazing car tint and nano ceramic coating, and if you're a car owner and you're looking for that, go for Mask Pro Davao. They're located at Sobrecari Street, Obrero, Davao City. They offer superb coating that will give your car extra gloss, extra shine, and making it scratch resistant. Wow. They also offer quality tint which rejects heat and blocks the sun's glare without compromising your vision, giving you added security by making your windows and windshield shatterproof. Diba? <laughs> anyway, watch out for their uh, upcoming promos because if they do, then it's going to be a very, very good deal for you. Mm. Uh, if you're looking for quality tint and superb coating, go for Mask Pro. For more information, call them 0908-524-7777 or message them on their Facebook page, Mask Pro Davao. Hello and good morning to Sir Ryan Paco and the rest of the staff, particularly... Kisa mo na gina, DJ Ma'am, Karen, Ma'am Karen, Ma'am Jen, Ma'am Dimple, good morning, and good all morning. the staff at Mask Pro Davao. Okay, right. napa, si Ma'am, si Ma'am Riza. Mm. Okay, so appeal pa. Okay, hello. Good morning sa inyo. Hi, Ma'am Riza. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Good Thank you so much, no? Yes. For um, uh, supporting Mango Radio. Mm-hmm. Well, once again, thank you to our special guest for today, si Faith. Thank And uh, later on, after a short break, we will be back with Pastor Arthur to mm. share with us the Word of God right after these few reminders. Stay tuned for more here on Mango Mornings on Mango Radio. We are communicating, communicating the, the love of God. Quality coating ba ang hanap mo? Give your car the makeover it deserves with MaskPro. MaskPro's nano ceramic coating implies the cutting edge nano technology hailed from Japan. Experience for yourself why people are gushing over the extra gloss, extra shine, and scratch resistant surface achieved only through MaskPro's nano ceramic coating. Hit us up at 0908-524-7777 or drop us a message on our Facebook page, Mask Pro Davao. We're located at Sobrecari Street, Obrero, Davao City. Make it different with Mask Pro, the number one trusted nano ceramic coating. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Proverbs 3.5 ang mabuting balita ay hatid sa inyo ng MX3. Mag-MX3 araw-araw para M-Extraordinary. Your story. My story. The story of Christ on Mango Mornings. Here's the daily word on Mango Mornings. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. And that's the Daily Word on Mango Mornings. Welcome back, friends. You're still tuning in to Mango Mornings with your host, Bernie and Pastor JV. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 
And uh, yours truly, I uh, pinakalit lang no biglang. <laughs> and uh, friends, as promised, we're back with Pastor Arthur Joseph of mm. Davao City uh, Alliance Evangelical Church, sharing with us today a little bit of a background on what was happening during this time. Since we're talking about what Paul said to Timothy, ang mga pabili niya sa kanya, ano yung context nito, Pastor? Yeah, you're pretty much uh, correct there, no? Uh, yung 2 Timothy 3.16 is actually Paul's letter to Timothy. Where mm-hmm. he was, Timothy here was, uh, according to uh, Bible scholars, parang nasa ano pa siya, 20s. Oh, mm, very young. Very young. Mm-hmm. So, Paul really had to make sure that Timothy was doing the right thing mm-hmm. uh, in the church, uh, mm-hmm. where also Paul pastored. So, ito yung part ng... Uh, instructions niya, no? pastoral instruction niya for Timothy. And um, the uh, Second Timothy 3.16 says, um, from the New Living Translation, uh, all scripture is inspired by God Amen. and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. I like this translation. Mm. Uh, and further it says, it corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. Mm. Right. Um, yeah, very, very, ano, very, um, very clear na yung sinasabi ni, ni Paul dito. Uh, very understandable yung language niya. And as I've said, this is uh, Paul's letter to Timothy. Timothy is encouraged here to continue on in what he has been taught uh, by his uh, grandparents and even by Paul himself. And to continue on what uh, Timothy also learned from others. Um, let us remember that Paul is speaking of the Old Testament here. No? Mm-hmm. When he said to Timothy, all scripture is God breath. Right. Yes. Um, he was referring to the Hebrew text, you know, to the Old Testament. No? Mm-hmm. Wala pang New Testament nun. No? Mm-hmm. Kaya, right. <laughs> so, Timothy had a sound knowledge of uh, the Old Testament scriptures which he had received from his grandmother and his mother and... Mm-hmm. Uh, Timothy really believed those scriptures uh, to be in, to be the inspired word of God. No? Mm-hmm. Walang walang duda don. Kaya nung sinabi ni Paul, all scripture is God breath. That means that the Bible owes its origins, its contents to the guidance and leading of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. So parang breathe out. No? It's really the breath out or the word of God. No, yung scriptures. Peter puts it like this in Second Peter one twenty. No prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation. For prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, mm. but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. So mm. there we see the divine inspiration, the doctrine of inspiration of the Scripture. Na hindi ito basta-basta lang sinulat ng mga authors but they were really carried along that's the language of the scripture mm. carried along inspired by the Holy Spirit mm. now the Bible is not just one book no? as we see it in one hard bound mm. but it is actually a whole library of 39 books in the Old Testament and 27 books in the New Testament these were written over a period of 15 centuries by more than 40 authors mm. all of whom were different including kings like David and Solomon philosophers poets farmers like Amos mm. statesmen like David priests mm-hmm. like Ezekiel and Ezra prophets like Isaiah and Jeremiah fishermen like Peter and John and scholar like Paul so mm-hmm. the, the Bible was written with uh, from uh, with, with different um, writers w- for coming from different backgrounds. Now, with such a variety of authorship over a, such a long period, one might expect the result to be a book that was no more than a mixed bag of ideas and inconsistencies. But mm. that's not what we find here. The Bible has a wonderful unity, coherent, from Genesis to Revelation as it unfolds for us a single theme of God's plan of redemption. Mm. Now, the inspiration of the Bible is also uh, unique in its survival. All through history, ma- makikita natin that it has been a hated book for certain people because 
of its claims uh, to be the mm. word of the living God. Mm. But in spite of all the attempts at times by emperors, by dictators, and totalitarian governments to destroy it by burning, confiscation, and the imprisonment and persecution of those who read it and preach it, all such attempts have miserably failed. Now, this remarkable book is still with us today and is widely dispersed as ever. So having stated that, the Bible is the inspired Word of God, as what Paul says. Paul now goes on to show its usefulness and purpose for the Christian. And as what Paul said in the New American Standard Version Bible, it is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Now, what does that mean? Now, Paul is saying that Timothy should make good use of it as an indispensable instrument for teaching purposes. That's, that's the first thing. It is useful for teaching. When people are in their pursuit of the truth of God's word, they are not dependent on their own intellectual capacity alone, but are helped by the indwelling Holy Spirit. Christ said in mm. John 16, 13, when He, the Spirit of truth, comes, He will guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when we read the Bible and study the Bible's teaching, the Holy Spirit enlightens our minds and understanding and directs its truth to our hearts. In this way, we are able to discern between the truth and falsehood mm. and will not fall for everything we hear or read only because it comes from a bishop, it comes from a theologian mm. or a pastor. Mm. That's how useful the Bible or the Word of God is. Mm. Now, second, what Paul mentions here is rebuking. It is useful for rebuking. The Bible not only teaches the truth of God, but it also teaches the truth about ourselves mm. and gives many warnings and rebukes about our own conduct, our own discipleship. Um, the Bible is a very uh, frank book, <laughs> honest book. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Right? You can say that. And it never whitewashes any of God's servant who appears on its pages. Amen. Nama? Lahat naman sila, David, Solomon, talagang hmm. sinabi doon. Walang cover-up na nangyayari. Their, even their faults and failings are all clearly set forth. Mm -hmm. So we will learn from them. Mm -hmm. Now, as for ourselves, when we read the Bible, we are made to take the blinkers off and see ourselves as we are really in the sight of God. Now, that can be a painful experience. We can constantly fall into sin and give way to temptation. And when we come to the Word of God, it rebukes us. Now, we may succeed in keeping our conscience quiet for a time, as long as we keep clear of the Bible. But the moment we start reading it, there will be verses and passages that make us feel extremely uncomfortable because they bring home to us that we have grieved the Holy Spirit. Mm. And until we take the rebuke to heart in repentance and confession, we will never know inner peace or make further progress in our journey, in Very our spiritual true. journey with God. That's right. In, in his capacity uh, as a Christian leader and a pastor, referring to Paul, and Timothy is to make good use of the Bible as a teaching tool mm -hmm. to rebuke others when they fall into errors or uh, mistakes. Mm. The third uh, point that Paul mentions here is that the Bible is useful for correcting and training in righteousness. Mm. Now, it is not enough that we should be rebuked by the Word of God when we go astray and fall into sin. We also need to be corrected as to how we should live in order to please God. Mm -hmm. And these two, the Bible is able to do. It corrects our wrong thinking. It trains us. It instructs us in the way of righteousness, the right path we are to follow if we want to grow in our godliness and holiness of life. That's what the psalmist says in Psalm 119. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Mm -hmm. So this illumination upon our path through life 
comes from the many directives we have in the scriptures concerning different aspects of life. Amen. Our use of time, our family life, our use of money, our for the parents, the, the rearing of their children, for marriage, for sexual relations, everything. In all these things, broad principles and guidelines are laid down that help us train us in life and righteousness. It is like listening to a form of preaching. You know, when you read the Bible, it is like preaching to you. Just, mm -hmm. uh, let me quote yeah. J.I. Parker here. Sabi niya, the Holy Scripture should be thought of as God preaching. God preaching to me every time I read or hear any part of it. Mm -hmm. God the Father preaching God the Son in the power of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's beautiful. Very beautiful. So it's useful for correcting and training in righteousness. And lastly, Paul mentioned that the Bible is useful for or equ to equip us for Christian service or for work. Mm. Paul concludes by stating the purpose underlying our desire to read and study the scriptures. In verse 17 of the same chapter 3, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Man. The expression man of God would refer in the first instance to Timothy because that's the first recipient of the letter. And then it may also refer to other pastors in the, in the area, in the region, where Paul planted many churches uh, who need to be equipped with the authority of the scripture to teach and lead God's people. But it can equally apply to us today, to all Christians, for we all need to reach maturity in Christ and it is only by our diligent study of the Bible that we can become thoroughly equipped in knowledge, in faith, and holiness to do God's work. And I think that's what that was very much clear for Timothy to, to understand when Paul wrote this particular verse no, as part of his letter to Timothy. And I hope we also understand that no, for our Christian service, for our Christian walk as well, that the Bible is very much useful for for our teaching, for our rebuking, for our training uh, in righteousness, and to equip us for every good work. Wow. All right. Well, thank you so much, Pastor Amazing. Arthur, for those words. Let's establish that uh, conviction in our hearts how important the Bible is and its role in our lives, that it should govern every aspect of our lives as the Word of God. And that is what we are trying to uh, convince all of us with this morning. We'll have more uh, from Pastor Arthur right after this short break. Keep it here on Mango Mornings here on Mango Radio. We are communicating, communicating the love of God. God. Wondering where to buy desktop PCs and laptops with superb quality that suits your budget? Choose PCGate, the most advanced yet affordable computer store in Mindanao. All your computer needs are available here. So visit the nearest PC gate. We have branches at the third floor of Gaisano Mall in both Davao and Tagum cities. And at door 11, El Manuel CityWalk Shopping Mall in Cotabato City. PC gate head office is located at door 1B STL Building, Luxon Street, Obrero, Davao City. For more information, contact 082-305-4911 or 0929-419-1008. Now accepting major credit cards and home credit. You may also visit our Facebook page at PCGate Technologies Incorporated. PCGate. Say goodbye to heat and glare on your car with Mask Pro. Mask Pro Nano Ceramic Tint isn't just any other tint. Not only does it reject heat and block the sun's glare without compromising vision, it also provides your car added protection by making your windows and windshield shatterproof. So give your car the best care and protection with Mask Pro. For more information, send us a message on our Facebook page, Mask Pro Ceramic Tint, or call us at 0908-524-7777. Make it different with Mask Pro Ceramic Tint.
Amazing Grace, here on Mango Mornings. It's still a wonderful morning, everyone, and definitely a wonderful song to remind us that the Bible is the word of life. That's Jeremy Camp. Mm. Check your time. It's 8.08, and we're back. What a wonderful uh, exposition that Pastor Arthur, uh, of course, shared with us today about the word though, from 2 Timothy 3.16, the Bible being God-breathed as useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and definitely training in righteousness. Yes. But, Pastor... There's, there's this question because, you know, people are thinking, uh, the Bible, is it still valid in today's day and age? So, whom do we trust? Do we trust God's Word or man's Word? Wow, that's a tough question, I mm. say. <laughs> uh, But, first of all, let us differentiate the two, you know. Mm. What do we mean when we say man's Word? Of course, we know what God's Word is. Yes. Uh, it's the Bible. Um, it's the source of absolute truth, uh, if you believe that. Mm. But <clears throat> if we differentiate that, we can say that man's Word is fallible. Mm-hmm. It's imperfect. It's changing. And mm. it's limited as well. Because um, sometimes there are also situations when we do not have the right words to 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 say you know for a particular situation mm-hmm. and if we look at God's word it is on the other hand infallible yes. it is perfect in all its claims and it is complete mm. it is also unchanging yes. like the character of God and aside from that the Bible is also eternal that's what God says, heaven and earth may pass away, but my word will Not remain forever. Yes. So that in its proper context, um, we can also apply that to our, our context as well, no? depending on our situation, whether we take the word, the man, the, the word of other people or the word of God. Mm. But to be safe about this, we understand the context or the situation. Now, suppose the situation involves only between two people for example in the context of relationships or contracts or agreements uh, by all means you should trust that because that may be legally binding on you mm-hmm. if you do not fulfill those words mm-hmm. and so in that context um, let's qualify that in that context then you should trust the intentions or words of the other person or the other party involved but if we put that in this question particularly in the context of knowing the truth mm-hmm. or searching the will of God for your life right. or if we talk about our spiritual relationship with God then we should at all times rely and depend on the Word of God mm. as the ultimate source of our faith our trust and our actions Amen. Uh, that's what Psalm 119 130 says the substance of God's word giveth light. So if you are in that situation where you are probably standing at a crossroad, you are to make a life-changing decision, you're in search of truth, you're seeking the will of God, then the word of God is really the light for you. Mm-hmm. But if on a, on a trivial, you know, nor, or ordinary days when you are transacting with other people, then take it as it is. Now, you cannot spiritualize that. But if you go to the higher um, dimension of it, level of it, then the Word of God is always true and correct and perfect. And you can trust, you can always depend on the Word of God. It will never lead you to the wrong path. Mm-hmm. It will you always, can never go wrong right, you can never word. go wrong. Right. Well, the way it seems, Pastor, no, kanang, uh, when it comes to major decisions in life that requires wisdom, right. And you know that it yeah. will, yeah, discernment, right. no, and you know that it will greatly affect the path or direction of your life. Right. We go to the Word of God, right. mm-hmm. but in matters of expertise about maybe technical right. jobs and yeah, all that, yeah. there's no uh, argument about it. Right. Kailangan magconsult yun ka o mga people Correct. who are yeah. experts on that yeah. field. Yes, if you need knowledge and information, right. but wisdom in particular is uh, solely coming from the Lord. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
we encourage everyone to to do that and practice that and distinguish right. those moments ba na unsa man akong kailangan ani uh-huh. wisdom or knowledge right. and uh, you can easily uh, make a decision out of that right. uh, established principle yeah we can also um, say that definitely no if some people would argue that eh, the word of god is not really the word of god it's the word of man it's just written down yes. but can you imagine just what like pastor uh, uh, arthur mentioned earlier that this is a book written over a long period of right. time mm-hmm. and so from that alone you know you know experience and wisdom comes because uh, you know people have done this and done that right. so like even ako no if i can say to my kind of mga younger friends now don't do that because I've experienced that before so don't do that because you're going to commit a mistake and you're going mm. to suffer the consequences of your action so the Bible basically is a book even about the stories of people who actually made mistakes mm. right. and were able to rectify it because God helped them mm. Amen. so we learn from their mistakes right. so that we won't have to do it that's why it's right. a book of wisdom Wis- right. mm. because we learn from them mm. yeah Yeah. Well, uh, so much uh, for that, no, sa atong discussion. I think we already have a clear picture of when to tap into God's word and when to ask advice from a man's word mm. in matters of practical situations right. in life. Good morning, pala sa ating mga YouTube live viewers nagtapok na ato ang mga kuan, no? <laughs> Mensahe um, si Ma'am uh, si Granny Christy day ni, no? Christina Fernandez. Yes. Hi, Granny Christy. Hi, Granny. Good morning. Buntag, uh, Sir Berlino Flores, man, good wow. morning to you all. Nice to see you live in YouTube. God bless your ministry always. So, hey, thank you po. To God be the glory. And uh, si Chadi Salang, blessed morning. Thank you sa YouTube live. Dili lang makapaminaw. Makita na pud. Hmm. Thank you sa devotionals and verses. Makarelax while driving kay hasta ka traffic. Right. Oh, I'm ingat po sa biyahe. We can relate to that. Praying for the Lord to give you lots, lots and lots of patience. Oh, yes. Oi, Sister Dari Tagoon, good morning. And she have a blessed day, DJ Aya, Pastor JB, and of course, DJ Burn. Thank you so much. Mango mornings. Nasanay na sila gamit sa ano, no? Kanang mango, mango mornings. mornings. Yeah. Uh, greetings. Well, we will have more from Pastor Arthur sa ato ang discussion today about... Uh, Who's your truth or what is your truth ba na ginasundan sa kinabuhi because that greatly affects the way you live your life in all aspect mm. and we must make sure as God's children na ang ginasunod nato kanunay is ang pulong sa Ginoo sa tanang adlaw o sa tibuok natong kinabuhi. We'll be back after these short reminders. Keep it here on Mango Mornings here on Mango Radio. We are communicating, communicating the, the love, love of God. God. If comfort, eco-friendly, affordable, and in the heart of the city tops your list, then booking your stay in Midori Inn should be your next move. For bookings and further inquiries, feel free to call us at 300-0101 or 0932-864-3674. That's 0932-8-MIDORI. Visit us at Camus Extension, Davao City. Midori Inn. Your home away from home with a touch of nature. Looking for a truly international school in Davao? Faith International Academy of Davao City, a private Christian international school offering a K-12 program, is now accepting new students for the second semester, which begins on January 11, 2023. Faith International Academy uses an American-based curriculum and is accredited by the Association of Christian Schools International, ACSI, and the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, WASC, in the U.S and is recognized by the Philippine Department of Education. We offer vocational, performing arts, and advanced placement options. At Faith International Academy, we nurture students to fulfill their God-given potential. Students enjoy small class sizes in an extensive facility, featuring many diverse cultures in a caring community. For more information, visit our website at www.fia.edu.ph or call us at 221-3559. You may also visit our campus at number 7 Jade Street, Marfori Heights, Davao City. Faith International Academy, providing quality Christian education since 1982. Busy morning? 
Keep your eyes on Christ. You're still tuning in to Mango Mornings here on Mango Radio, episode 2, entitled Says Who, with your host, Pastor JB, DJ Bernie. <laughs> May ganun talaga na ano, expression. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> you know, yours truly, DJ Aya. And with us for this episode is Pastor Arthur Joseph of DCAEC. So, friends, uh, so many things na kailangan i-save war. Uh, pero isa sa mga bagay na uh, really struck me is that if this is God's word, it convicts me of how I live my life as well. Kasi may mga moments tayo na, oo, alam natin ano yung sabi ni God, pero paminsan, napakalaki ng we magnify the situation, right? Yeah. Or there are times as well na our emotions get the best of us. Mm. For the women out there, can mm. you relate? So, uh, but what is most important is that our relationship with the Lord, that is not compromised. So I'm remembering an instance now. I asked uh, someone of expertise in the field of law because we were dealing with a case. And nauna na kumbaga yung word ni God. God hates bribery. Mm. Pero ako, na-tempt talaga ako nun na, hindi kasi kailangan ko gawin ito. Kailangan ano, kailangan maayos namin ito. So whatever means that I can find. Uh, so manipulating things, no? uh, human as we are, <laughs> fallen as we are. Mm. But then, at the end of the day, still, Lord, kaya ko ba tong harapin sa iyo? If I go through this, uh, this was someone who advised me uh, the field of law, pero may mga ganyang galawan. Mm-hmm. This is a fallen world we live in. Yeah. But for for me, as a follower of Christ, will I compromise my walk with the Lord? Uh, will I uh, do evil when He has called me to do good? Mm. No? So, I pray, friends, that we as well, uh, when we're faced with those kinds of decisions, uh, let us cling to God's Word and Amen. let us find our confidence and our conviction na yan yung word ni God, ni God eh, so we can never go wrong mm, so right. he will defend us mm. no matter what well yeah for me Psalm 119 verse 105 is an absolute truth no? kasi the word of God brings enlightenment really in times that you are confused in times that you don't know what the answer is go to the word of God and it brings you peace calmness of heart and sound decision na makaingon dito ka nga this is it and this is the word of God so look for that in moments that you are bombarded with uh, urgency you know, to to come up with major decisions in life and then uh, dili ka mahimutang find the peace uh, find that joy nga makita nimo um, as you discover the answer and that is only found in the word of god no? so medyo lisod man siyang process maybe sometimes but uh, the the effect of the word of god in our lives kay wala joy lain no enlightenment uh, calmness peace uh, sound decision and you will know that that's from the Lord if you are experiencing those. And just like the diva of Pastor Ar- Arthur Kanina, no, oh. yung willingness of your heart, mm-hmm. you're, you're willing right. to, okay, right. I will trust you, God, and not go my way or not go after my own understanding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ikaw naman, DJ Bernie. Well, from what uh, Pastor JB said, no, 119 uh, verse 105, no, mm. I go 25 verses down. And I love this, no, because this is something uh, of a new revelation even for me. No, the unfolding of your word gives light. Mm. Yeah. It gives understanding to the simple. Right. You see, if you view things from the perspective of children, okay, mm. because children they're uninformed basically, and they need guidance and they need also wisdom and knowledge, and if they cannot get this from their parents, where do they get it from? Of course, from people who are more knowledgeable. But you definitely can get it from the Word of God. Because the Word of God, as what we've mentioned no, from uh, 2 Timothy 3.16, that it's yes. useful for teaching, for rebuking, yes. and also for um, correcting and training in righteousness. So this, these are things that we learn in school. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. But, of course, the Bible is the Word of God, and that is definitely something that we should be trained in 
every day and no matter how old we are physically or how no matter how young we need god's word so that we know what we have to do in light of god's word definitely so that we can do what's pleasing in his sight amen, amen. pastor arthur any final words before we wrap up today's episode yeah choose to do god's will you know amen. for every day of our lives and mm. from that word alone choose it's a choice that we need to make yeah. every day uh, consciously intentionally as god's children exactly Thank you so much. Well, Pastor Arthur, thank you so much for your time today. It is really a privilege to have you sa, an, uh, sa ating programa, uh, sa Mango Mornings. And we look forward to more days of guestings. <laughs> Maybe mm-hmm. not so soon, but uh, when God allows. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Any greetings po sa inyong church members? Uh, yeah, family? thank you also, uh, Mango Radio, for having me today. And um, of course, I'd like to thank also our church, Davao City Alliance mm-hmm. Gospel Church, and like to take this opportunity also to invite you. If you uh, happen to be here in Davao or you do not belong to any local church yet, mm-hmm. uh, we have three services every Sunday. It starts at 7.30 in the morning, 10 a.m., and then one at 6 p.m. Oh. It's uh, Davao City Alliance Gospel Church in 34 Narrow Street, uh, 30C, Poblacion, Davao City. All right. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Good morning to all the members um, <laughs> under Pastor Arthur. Well, friends, uh, we are sad to say na that's our time for today. But before that, meron kaming pasabog no, in surprise para sa lahat. Ito na, ito na, ito na. Ilabas natin ulit yung bag. Right. We have picked uh, active listeners no, from our live uh, Facebook Yes. Sige kung Facebook pa, no? YouTube, YouTube Live <laughs> viewers. YouTube live. So, this is exclusive for those joining us on our YouTube Live yes, sa mga po. nag-chat. Mm-hmm. So, lahat po kayo. Si Sir Nor Rai Rai, um, Anna Barinan Tabukan, no? and uh, si, sino pa ba to? Jason Pasibog, mm. si Granny Christy, yes. Oy, Rotomoto, <laughs> nadigangan niya ang bag. Um, Berlino Flores, uh, sino pa ba tong mga nandito? Si Ma'am LVT, Divina Gracia, good morning, nice to see you all. Mm. Was just listening to the radio. So please send us a, f- a message po sa ating Facebook Messenger mm. um, with your contact details. No? And if you want to get the bag so we can arrange it, no? kung unsaon na to ni pagpadala sa inyo. Ha? But uh, basically, um, we would like to ask for your presence to. <laughs> <laughs> Be here sa ating station. Visit us. Drop by. Yes. So for now, Davao o sa aniha. Uh, Davao lang muna yung Zamboanga <laughs> listeners natin. Chill muna kayo and let's uh, pray for a way para maka-benefit din kayo. Yeah, Makakuha yeah. ng ating uh, micro radio bag. So please send us a message via Facebook Messenger and uh, give us your details so we can uh, communicate and arrange for the acquisition of your so formal. Acquisition, acquisition. <laughs> of, of your, your Mango Radio Mango Bag, the limited edition. Well, friends, so much for that. Thank you so much for being with us for today. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, God willing, sa another episode ng Mango Mornings here on Mango Radio. My name is Pastor JB. This is Aya. And I'm Bernie. And we are saying God bless you and have a fruitful day ahead. This is Mango Radio's Mango Mornings here on Mango Radio 102.7 FM in Davao and 91.5 FM in Zamboanga. We are passionately communicating the the love love of of God. God.
The song was brought to you by Light Talk for all your lighting needs. They are located at MacArthur Highway, Davao City. Or call them at 299-1450 or 0917-723-4928. Light Talk. That song was brought to you by Everflex, a one-stop shop for all your electrical needs. They are located at Ramon Magsaysay Avenue, Corner Clan, Davao City. You may call them at 227-2663. Ever the views and opinions expressed in today's program are those of the host and do not necessarily state or reflect those of the company or its management. Boldly from-